the first film from the Prashant Verma Cinematic Universe directed by Prashant Verma Hanuman starring Teja Sajja in the title role alongside Amrita Iyer Vara Lakshmi Sharath Kumar Raj Deepak Shetty and Vinay Rai is finally released on the big screen as the superhero film based on Indian Itihasa releases on the streaming platform we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview talk about the ending and discuss some details of the film so that you can have the best reviewing experience A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. But if you are done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you. And let's move on to the basic plot. The film starts quite unconventionally as we are introduced to the villain of the film Michael At first he is shown to be inspired by the popular superheroes from the west but as he attempts to perform some superhero feats he injures himself and when he realizes that most of the superheroes are orphans he decides to kill his parents after several years we see him dressed in a superhero costume trying to stop a robbery but soon we understand that his motivations are more inclined towards getting more powers rather than helping people in need like his deceased mother suggested I think it wouldn't be wrong to say that Michael was a cheap version of DC's Batman who didn't have any superpowers but wanted to become a superhero to save people. In Michael's case, he became obsessed with superheroes and so he started saving people because that's exactly what these superhumans do. But what Michael lacked was a certain sensitivity. He was ready to kill criminals to stop crime. He was even willing to sacrifice the lives of innocent villagers to save the entire universe. and even though michael had convinced himself he was a superhero his actions said otherwise anyone who questioned michael's methods or his superheroism paid with their lives after his parents death michael probably inherited a lot of money just like our bruce wayne and used his inheritance to build himself a superhero costume his assistant comically named cd vanella had designed a mega man costume for his master to give michael a superhero identity Additionally, Siri was tentatively working on a powerful drug MFC42 that could freeze people's muscles. But even with all these high-tech weapons at his disposal, Michael was not happy because he wanted real superpowers just like Superman. Anyway, the film is heavily inspired by Indian mythology and features a superhero fantasy revolving around an ordinary villager named Hanumanta. The village boy has been madly in love with the girl Meenakshi since childhood but Meenakshi left the village to study medicine. However, after Meenakshi returns to Anjanadri, the educated young woman cannot bear the corruption and bigotry prevalent in the countryside and hence raises her voice against those in power. Meenakshi angers the wrong people which puts her life in danger. Then Hanumanta steps in and tries to defend the love of his life and almost loses his life in the process. The life-threatening accident helps Hanumanta find a lost mythological stone or Rudramani which gives him immense power to fight evil. But the stone cannot function in the absence of sunlight so Hanumanta needs to adapt to this drawback as well. Gajapati, the polygar or self-proclaimed leader of the villagers, had imposed heavy taxes on the innocent villagers through violence and terror. Minakshi, the village had master's daughter wanted to build a hospital in the village but after raising her voice against Gajapati his men robbed the entire village forcing some farmers to commit suicide. Meanwhile Gajapati sent some masked assassins after Minakshi to curb the rebellion. Gajapati's goons attacked Minakshi in the middle of the forest when she was traveling in a bus. Hearing her screams Hanumanta quickly picked up his slingshot to help Minakshi escape from the assassin. However the bandits cornered Hanumanta and pushed him off the cliff intending to finish off the young hero once and for all but Hanumanta is not dead during the fight Hanumanta found Meenakshi's gold chain and when he fell into the river he tried to protect the jewelry at all costs the entire scene draws a parallel with Hindu mythology where Lord Hanuman protected Devi Sita with his life and returned her jewels to Lord Ram to assure the god of his wife's safety Hanumanta also showed the same courage and loyalty and the Rudramani created from the blood of Lord Hanuman appeared before him and transformed into a superhero. The film depicts that the Rudramani was created when a kid Bajrangbali attempted to devour the son and Lord Indra attacked him with his vajra. 
One drop of his blood entered an oyster or a mussel, depending on which water body it fell into, and for thousands of years the stone preserved the power of Bajrangbali like the supreme monkey god was waiting inside a cave into a rock of ice in the Himalayas for the return of his master Lord Ram. Rudramani, which was part of Lord Hanuman himself, received its powers from the sun, and therefore anyone who looked at the sun's rays through the money would gain unimaginable powers. The money's power not only healed Hanumantha's wounds but also gave him super strength like Lord Hanuman. However, there was a problem. The powers were not permanent. There was only till sunset and Hanumantha had to wait until the next sunrise to become a superhero again. In short, Hanumantha was most vulnerable when the sun's rays were absent. However, even though Hanumantha knew the limits of his powers, he used them for the right cause and got rid of Gajapati and his school so that the villagers could elect a leader for the village. However, when Michael witnessed Hanumantha's strange turn, he quickly gathered all his strength and arrived in Anjanadri to steal the source of Hanumantha's powers. Michael wanted the money at all cost and was willing to wipe out the entire village to obtain the stone. He even fired a shot at Hanumantha during his sister's Anjama's wedding, killing Anjama. Blaming himself and the money for his sister's death, Hanumantha threw the money into the village from a high ground. After which Michael spread tons of MFG-42 throughout the village to find the money unobstructed. Meanwhile, the siege or vivision in disguise approached Hanumantha and made him understand the responsibility of such divine powers. After realizing his mistake, Hanumantha quickly ran into the village for the final battle between the superhero and the supervillain, where Koti, the monkey, handed the money over to Hanumantha so that he could defeat the evil. Ultimately, Michael ended up stealing the money of Hanumantha and called a helicopter to escape the village. However, Hanumantha still had some powers left, which he used to stop Michael from flying away. At the end of the film, Hanumantha wielded Lord Hanuman's gada and jumped onto the helicopter to completely destroy the transport. The explosion not only killed Michael but also tore the money apart, causing Lord Hanuman to wake up from his slumber. As King Vibhishana had mentioned before, the Rudramani served as a barrier that protected the human world from the wrath of demons. However, once the money was destroyed, the film featured a series of sequences in which demons unleashed their armies to conquer the human world. At that moment, Vibhishana knew that Hanumanta alone would not stand a chance against the catastrophe. Therefore, he woke his old friend Lord Hanuman up and asked him to stop his deep meditation. In Hindu mythology, Lord Ram granted immortality to his most loyal friend, which is why Lord Hanuman still lives in the human world and will continue to do so until the end of the universe. After the Rudramani was torn to pieces, the drop of Lord Hanuman's blood became a part of Hanumantha himself, giving him permanent powers. At this point, Hanumantha not only had super speed and super strength, but he could also fly like normal superheroes. And yes, he also wears a cape like Superman. However, Hanumantha would be even more vulnerable at night as the sun will remain the main source of his powers and thus he may have to enlist the help of some sort of superhero costume to fight crime at night. It is possible that Siri Vanela will help the village boy find a more suitable dress for himself so that Hanumantha no longer has to worry about waiting for sunlight. During the finale of Hanuman, Lord Hanuman appears before Hanumantha perhaps to prepare the new superhero for the impending war between humans and demons. Vivishan's final dialogue suggests that Lord Hanuman will destroy all the demons that threaten the survival of humanity and thus fulfill the promise made to Lord Ram. In the absence of the Divine Lord himself, it will be the duty of Lord Hanuman and Hanumantha to keep the demons at bay and hence we can expect a fierce battle between good and evil in Prasand Varma's next film Jai Hanuman. The film is not perfect, but it has its heart in the right place, unlike Adipurush. The VFX is not astounding, but it serves its purpose. However, I got really pumped at two scenes. Firstly, when Bhishan explains the superhero feats of Lord Hanuman and the entry of the Lord himself when he faces Hanumantha in the last scene. It takes time for the film to find its rhythm and for us to absorb its environment. It's commendable what this team was able to achieve with their limited budget, but there are sequences, particularly in the second half, where the visual effects don't match the superhero's ambitious origin story. However, the narrative has enough emotional intensity to keep us captivated. Teja Sajja has an energetic screen presence that suits the role, going from carefree and mischievous to realizing he can use power for the greater good. It's interesting that he is placed among women who aren't just any distraction for his cause and who push him in the right direction. 
His childhood sweetheart Minakshi, played by Amrita Iyer, is a doctor who fights for a democratic leader selection process in the village. Anjama makes decision at home and is a guiding force for Hanumanta, urging him to remember the greater truth of what Hanuman represents. Before the fierce battle between Hanumanta and Michael takes place, Prashant Verma leaves a lot of room for fun. The action scenes in the village are choreographed in such a way that they provide plenty of entertaining moments. In the theater I was watching the film children and adults alike were blazing with enthusiasm. References to the epic Ramayana are used to provide a plausible worthy moments. Like Hanumanta sitting on a pile of beaten criminal is equated with Lord Hanuman sitting on his steel. Anjama also has a share of applause inducing mass moments. Hanuman ends with the announcement of a new superhero movie and it will be interesting to see how this team will tackle a bigger risk perhaps with more resources. What's engaging is that the film doesn't overly play on religious feelings and draws on stories we have heard since childhood to present a fun homegrown superhero story. Hey 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 thank you for watching this video do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Hanuman hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of Sharman series see you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off will go lose jai shri ram jai bajrangbali and i'll be back